Hello everyone, today we are going to review a digital signal oscilloscope. We have with us the Rigol DS1074C. It is a 70 MHz oscilloscope with 1 giga samples per second sample rate. As you can see here, it is a 4 channel oscilloscope. It is having 4 individual channels for your signals. What is particularly special about this oscilloscope is that Along with the oscilloscope, we are also getting an inbuilt function generator. So if you see on the back, we are having two ports for the function generator. That is, it can generate two independent signals for testing your circuits. Now these are the probes that you get with the oscilloscope. Like this, you will get four numbers. Okay, now before turning this oscilloscope on, we will connect the probes. We connect it like this. Connect it very securely. Similarly, we will connect one BNC cable like this. This, do this doesn't come with the item. You have to buy it separately. You can connect this BNC cable to the back side of the DSO. Here source 1 is written. I will connect it there. So we will use the source channel 1 of the signal generator. This is one. one particular problem I noticed with this scope is that this is flip stand just keeps on falling off. Okay. So here we have the input probe for this scope. Okay. And this is the BNC cable we just connected okay at the end of the BNC cable we are having two crocodile clips this will act as the signal input to our circuits okay now before turning on we have to also connect the IEC jack on the back okay okay I am having the IEC jack here I just connect this okay so this is connected. See now the flip stand has again fallen off. Again I have to put it back. Okay. So now we are ready to turn on our scope. We have a nice beefy physical power button here. If we turn this on, it will turn on. Just you will see how it looks after turning on. Now let us turn on and see how it works. We will turn this on by pressing the switch. Okay, it starts up. We can hear the fan roaring. Your okay, eye gold symbol is getting displayed. Okay, it is doing some kind of power on self check. It is turning on all the lights, checking if it is all working. You can hear relay is clicking. And yeah, and you get the screen. So I have connected the probe to the channel 1. Okay, this is uh, looking quite noisy because we are not terminated with anything. Now we will see the calibration signal in this one. Connect this, this is the calibration signal. Okay, as you can see, the probe is not properly compensated. So what we will do is we will compensate the probe. I am using this uh, screwdriver. I will see it here. I will turn this uh, compensation knob. Okay. Yeah. Now as you can see, the signal is now flat topped. Now our probe and uh, our scope and probe is now compensated correctly. So this is the display you get in this oscilloscope. Okay, as you can see, it's a quite uh, clear display. We are having different measurements on the left side. It is, now it is showing different horizontal measurements like uh, time period, frequency. Price time, etc. And on the right side, we have a different 
settings that is input output settings language etc now if you press this menu button you will get the vertical settings now if you want to measure something now already it is showing period peak to peak and width of the waveform is getting measured if you want to get some other parameters message you can just select from the menu available here for example now i will just select uh, let me see now okay what i will do i will just clear whatever is available i'll just here the measure menu is there press measure you can see clear button if you press you can clear all the items okay now if you want to measure something so suppose i want to measure the frequency you can just select it from this menu put the frequency and you can see the frequency appearing here it is 1 kilohertz similarly for the vertical scale also you have say if you want to measure peak to peak here you can select vpp by pressing this button select vpp and it immediately comes here it is showing vpp is 3.08 volts so just now we have viewed our first signal in this oscilloscope now we will see how the built in function generator works so now i will connect the input of the scope to the function generator output which we had collected connected earlier okay so now i am connecting it ground to ground yes okay okay now we are connected it as you can see now we are not able to see any signal okay to view the signal we have to turn on the function generator first thing is there is the source button if we click the source button we will get this source menu now the output is shown as off here we can select what kind of signal we want to generate you select the source one configuration now it's default is sine wave now currently output is off that's why we are not able to see any signal now i will turn on the signal okay now we have got a sine wave you have to adjust the settings to see the sine wave correctly one easy way of doing that is just pressing this auto button press the auto button the scope will automatically set up the vertical and horizontal scales to view the waveform most correctly now if press it and yeah now we can see the sine wave okay now using this source we can change the different parameters of the sine wave example if you want to change the frequency you just select this frequency and by using this multi function knob we can say like reduce the frequency like i am doing here or you can increase it like this likewise if you want to change the amplitude you select the amplitude and you again use the multi function knob and change i am reducing the amplitude as you can see it is getting reduced by increase it gets increased so like this we can adjust the waveform as per our requirement if we want to change the type of waveform we can change it from this by selecting this wave menu so inside that now it is currently set as default as sine wave you can also have option for square wave ramp wave pulse etc let us see how a ramp looks like we select ramp we get the ramp we want we have the different parameters of the ramp wave here like frequency the same way what we have done for sine wave we can change here also like this similarly if you want square wave you can do that again sorry you can 
change to square wave. So, using the function generator, inbuilt function generator, we can generate waveform and use in our circuits. Okay.